Hi, I'm Carrie. I cosplay crochet and enjoy history bounding. And this will be another maternity history bounding creation, I hope. I am definitely at the stage where <clears throat> I show you maternity clothes. Oh my gosh, they are a must. But I live in a town where my options for buying maternity clothes are thrift stores, great price, but you never know what they're going to have. Or Walmart, which had a few tops, okay, great. Uh, jeans, sweatpants, not great for summer, or ridiculously short, short jean shorts. That's hardly work appropriate. So, I thought, well, I will just have to make myself another pair of capris because the couple that I found at the thrift store aren't fitting anymore. I went to the fabric store, started looking through the patterns, and the big four don't make maternity patterns anymore. <sighs> Not off to a great start. But I did find one interesting pattern. Let me go show you. So I did purchase this McCall's pattern. And I don't know if you can see, there is a seam that I think will hit just below the belly. What I'm hoping is instead of that front part, I use the stretchy cotton knit to create the belly band. And I'm thinking of the looser capris, but maybe even cut them a little bigger and especially wider at the bottom, maybe I could turn these into secret pants. My material for this project, I have a gorgeous green linen. Let me see close up here. This will be for the main body of the capris. Then I have a coordinating piece of the stretchy knit cotton. Oops. See, they coordinate well. I don't have a pattern piece or anything for the belly band. I'm just going to look at how some of my other maternity clothes are constructed and do my best. Well, I've shown you all this. I think it's time to get to work. My pattern pieces are all cut out and this pattern, or at least the pattern I am doing, has two kinds of pockets. We have the kind of front slide your hand in, very useful pocket and we have a back butt pocket. Pattern pieces are, no, not pattern pieces, the material is now cut out. Uh, this is the back. I needed more room because I have a lovely long torso. You can see I tried to make the bottom a little wider. <laughs> we'll see if that actually works or if I just end up actually following the pattern. The difference here between the back and the front height, this is going to be where the belly band is out of that stretchy material. For the, what is this, back facing? That extra little piece at the back. Uh, I did give myself a little bit of extra room because I'm 
pregnant and not the same size I was, or, you know, pre-pregnancy. I used this belly band on these pair of capris that still fit reasonably well to get an idea how big I wanted to make this. Yes, I did make it longer as my belly is getting bigger and it's just pinned in place so it doesn't curl too much. Yeah, it curls a lot. I am quite happy with how they turned out. They may not quite look like secret pants, but I think they still give a nice little history bounding vibe. I'm not sure exactly what vibe or era they're giving off, but maybe it's just the linen. They are wonderfully comfortable. The pockets are glorious. Um, really, I think this is the best pocket pattern I have ever sewn. They are big, they're easy to put my hands into. What else can you ask for from pockets? They hold a lot of stuff. My improvised belly band worked quite well. But I think overall, all of the adaptations I had to make to these capris turned out well. They are functional maternity capris that are work appropriate. Well, that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section what vibe you think this outfit is giving off. Until next time, have fun, be creative, and take care. It's summer, it's hot, the window is open, the fan is blowing, you may or may not be able to hear the traffic. This is just our life in this apartment. Sorry for the noise. <laughs>